G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18 where we are continuing on the Doomsday series and things are starting to look a little bit more promising for the prospects of me and my survival. Yesterday we found the schematic for a silencer which I promptly built and banged on the muzzle of my pistol that has made me the happiest boy in any of the kingdoms of the zombies and I've also got a bar wire bat which I very much enjoy slogging people in the face with and my crossbow so things are looking pretty bloody good for me right now as the sun comes up but in my hot little forge over here I make myself some more bullet casings because I want to have a crack at making myself some uh some more bullets my nine millimeter ammo well I mean I burnt through quite a lot of it last night shooting all those zombies with my silencer but now that I've got the opportunity I want to try and make myself uh some more I'm gonna need some lead though I need to put some lead into my forge make myself some bullet tips there's some lead there uh, anything else in here that I need to burn? Not really. I will need some wood for fuel though. Got some on me already. All right, let's put you into there. Let's just kind of, well, let's just put it into there for now. Let's smelt the rest of those, um, the rest of those candlesticks like that. Get you burning away nicely. Uh, bullet tips. How much are you going to cost me? One clay, one lead. That's fine. I can only make, well, I've got 37 gunpowder, which means I can make 37 nine millimeter bullets or I can make, uh, 15, uh, like uh, 18 armor piercing rounds. Armor piercing rounds are kind of tempting, but I haven't put any specs into uh, penetrating it, so I'm not sure if like just regular armor piercing ammo will still penetrate zombies, or if I need to spec into it before it will. I'm not really sure, but just the prospect of actually finally making my own ammo, which I very rarely do in seven days. I never really have felt the need to do this before, but now I guess is the time to shine. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just excited to be doing something handy with my forge for once, rather than just smelting all my materials into it and never actually using it. Let's do this nice and quick because we're wasting daylight hours. Uh, let's go nine millimeter. Now it's really nice. I don't need to have like the tool and die set to do this anymore. That's pretty exciting. Can I see the stats? Armor piercing ammunition works especially well against armor targets, but puts a bit more stress on the gun. That's not great because I have a tier one gun, which is pretty flimsy. Uh, it can penetrate one enemy for one or one block of up to 250 hit points to also damage the enemy standing behind it. I mean, sure, why not? I'm game, let's do it. Let's give myself some AP ammo. Oh, oh, in fact, I might even just like, leave that there for now and go out adventuring today. I'll come back and grab that at a later time. All right, but I'm happy with that though. Let's leave the rest of you guys here because I'm not gonna need to grab you later on. There we go. All right, cool bananas. Let's grab myself some food and head out. Actually, I'll fuck the food. I'll find some food out there. Let's get started. It's a bit of a hike, but I think that going and hitting this quest here and hitting both of those buried treasure quests and then going to Trady Potato to maybe buy myself something, although I didn't bring any of my money. Maybe, actually, yeah, I'll go and grab some stuff and I'll go and sell some things to Trady. Uh, that might be the best use of my day today. I still need like a whole, lot of forge stealing about myself my compound crossbow but that's not going to happen for a little while so i'll take you anything in here i want to sell as well uh i'll grab some repair kits in case i do stun button uh you know i'll scrap you and just put the parts in iron spear i'm not going to use this so i'll sell you steel sledgy i mean you were real good to me at the start but you've kind of fallen out of favor because you're fucking useless so we're still going to sell you instead grab these guys i'll sell the tier 4 claw hammer because the nail gun works better anyway um stone spear is not worth anything hunting ruffle i'll keep Keep you, but I'll scrap your lesser, uh, lesser friend. Um, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Okay, I think that's kind of everything. Put you guys away. Uh, put the bullet away. I'll repair these guys like that and like that and like that and put the rest of my repair kits back. All right, yep, that seems like a, a, a good enough stash to go and sell things. Although I will, um, I'll grab the die out of my sledgy and put it into one of my nerdy glasses. So I know, don't sell the green glasses, Josh. Don't be a clown and sell the things you actually need. Because that's absolutely something I can see myself doing. It's going to be a fair hike. I'm a long way away from the thing I need to go do. You got anything special? Is that the one I want to be doing? No, it's not. It's this one here. I wish I want to point to it on the map and it'd tell me what the quest was. I feel like that wouldn't be too much to ask, but sure, you're going to make it difficult for me. Oh, it's a Bitsy Spider. That's not going to be fun. All right, whatever. We'll track that one, though. We've got the pistol and the clubs. We're just going to have to go for broken hope for the best. So I also didn't bring myself any medical supplies, which might actually be really silly. I've got, I've got a mod left in you as well. Why do I have a mod in you and not in the armor I'm actually wearing? That's real silly, Josh. That's rookie hour. Who's got a mod slot I want to bang something into? Uh, you've got a mod slot with nothing in you. Boom. There we go. Let's make ourselves a little bit better. A little bit more quieter too. So what I was getting at is that I have to go so far, like it's such a long way to run, that I would very much love to... 
uh, find a basketball. Still looking for those basketball handlebars. That's the only piece I'm missing before I can make myself some wheels. So maybe Trader Potato will sell me that. I don't know. But on the way there, I'm just, uh, I've got my eyes peeled. I hate that expression. Like, visualize that expression is fucking horrific. Um, yeah, I've, I'm keeping my eyes open uh, for any sort of garages that might have some vehicle parts inside it. Like this, for example. This is a nice little garage, nice little workshop. Maybe there's something inside. Potato seeds and some acid. Is there a Muppet waiting here for me somewhere? Turn my lot to be extra super sticky stealthy. Um, doesn't really look like it. I might just clear this first room just to see if there's any sort of vehicle parts for me. But so far, not so good. Although my uh, my little Z uh, 7 day die zombie uh, sense is kind of tingling. That maybe there's something underneath that box. I'll have a quick little gander there in a moment. But there's no one waiting for me upstairs. Alright, the place is completely empty. Never mind. What's under here then? Oh, I was right. There is something down. That looks like the exit from the treasure room, which I kind of want to go down and have a look at. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Do I dare go and get in a really big fight? Of course I do, because I am a Muppet. Yeah, look, the torches are all facing this way. This is how you know you're going the wrong way through a POI. Oh, I can see him up over there, but I can't quite get a shot on his head. Let's see if this will work for me again. This worked for me uh, pretty well last time. Go like that. Just kind of like sneak up to the top. Can I get a look? Can I get a sight? No, come on, please. Just like, just a, just a little bit of a gander at the top of his noggin is all I'm asking for. Let's go like that and like that. Up a little bit further. Come on, please. Come on, please. Yep, there we go. There's the side. Boom. There he goes. There you go. Look at that. Making my own luck. Love it. Just murdering zombies as I'm moving through. I think I've been through this POI a, a long time ago. At least if I haven't, it kind of look, it kind of feels familiar. Whatever that POI, no, the POI I raided with the mountain lion back in the winter biome in the fist only challenge was different to this one. Um, there's a lot of zombies here and not a lot of travels. I was expecting to go down that ladder, like, straight into the treasure room, but I feel like I'm not doing that anymore. Is that just, like, is the treasure room here somewhere? I'm making a lots of noise. I'm stepping over lots of garbage. I don't want to wake anyone up if I can avoid it. Where is all the treasure? Where's all the good loot? I don't think it's this way. This is going back up into the building. Maybe it's up that ladder? I don't know. It's kind of weird this isn't laid out how i was kind of expecting anything to be like oh there it is there okay well i've killed the muppets downstairs there's probably some more muppets upstairs if that's where all the treasure is but i can't see anyone uh unless there's a sneaky deaky way for me to get up there without waking anyone up let's try you know my frames are working well for me so far let's go like that and like that and like that there we go that'll be that able to sneak on up that climb in the ladder i can hear more muppets where are they oh yeah, there's one okay that's good yep boom kill you didn't wake up any more of your friends. Let's keep on building my little ramp staircase up a bit further. But look at look at that. You can't go wrong with wooden frames. They're so good now. I mean, they were all uh, already really good. You could like nerd pole up into anything you wanted to. But to, like make yourself a little ramp out of frames like that. It is absolutely fan freaking tastic. I'm well, wearing the right goggles. I guess I am. All right, let's uh let's get some more goodies. What do you got for me? More nine millimeter ammo. Happy with that. We got here another pistol that does considerably less damage than the one I'm using now. So cheers, but no cheers. I'll scrap you. Take the ammo. Another bandolier. Uh, an iron helmet, which I could probably put that mod into and sell for more and some more ammo as well i'm already almost cucumbered and i haven't made it to the trade of potato yet all right well the important part of the poi is done so let's just get out of here then and continue back on our journey i saw that shadow and i thought it was a dire wolf uh, again because that's what the game likes to throw at me as soon as i feel comfortable it's like hey have a gigantic wolf i'm like oh please no i'd much rather not but the game does not care what i feel like it just wants to sink its big gnashes right into my neck there we go kill you i'm getting better with the crossbow Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm start. Uh, this is the thing, though. I'm starting to feel confident and like not really complacent, I suppose, but starting to feel like I have a chance. Starting to feel like I can take on whatever the game throws at me, which is a dangerous state of mind to be in, because that's when the game decides to throw everything at you and completely bend you over. There it is. I knew there was going to be a server crate in here somewhere. Just had to find it. Quickly grab you. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me those handlebars. Give me that goodness repair kits i mean look i'm not upset about repair kits because a lot of things in here i want to be able to repair like you for example it's going to give me some more money uh any of my armor needs repairing yes it does let's just let's just spend all all those repair kits i just got on all uh of these repair you and you and you and you i mean because what i still need a shirt though i'm still wearing my the old itchy plant fiber shirt i thought i would have got rid of that by now but i guess not uh where are you put you into there there we go um now if i put another bandolier in does that mean I reload even faster again? So I can put you on either, uh, what, what are you going to? Either leg or chest. 
Let's put it on the leg armor as well. Let's double bandolier and hopefully it's gonna make me reload extra super duper fast. I don't know, even if it doesn't, I kind of like the idea of just being strapped with bullets all over the place. I'm just about here. Oh, there's the point just there. Now these are gonna be what? Spider zombies on Nightmare Speed, which means they can look kind of like a weird like, kind of gallop, kind of like a camel cruising through the desert. There's a spider zombies having this weird kind of, yeah, like the kind of gallop to them, which looks really weird, but that'll be okay. I'm just gonna go like this though and try and build myself something to try and make this a little bit more defendable i suppose because they're gonna jump at me so if i can have some sort of way to kind of keep them or just like just like within arms or out of arms reach i suppose then that's gonna be really good i've got exactly enough frames it's a bitsy spider start the challenge cruise on back jump back into here yeah look there they all are there so when they get nice and close out they can punch me through there but i can shoot them through it as well there's one just got on the roof one just got on the roof i need to, i can't shoot your asshole buddy i need to shoot your head stop it stop it okay there we go another one down turn around you bastard for goodness sake stop breaking all my shit and let me shoot you when you're noggin is he dead i can hear one more beating on shit there we go there's the other one i thought i got ya there we go got him Whew. all right that was uh that was not a whole lot of fun and he lost a lot of frames but that's okay they were good frames to lose we will respect their sacrifice and let those zombie bodies just decay on the hillside Right, okay, not so bad. That's that one done. Let's go up and get the treasures. I'm still super cucumbered, but whatever. We can get this done nice and quickly. It's only 10 in the morning. We're already making goals. Oh, oh, I see her. I see her. I heard you a mile away. I didn't know you were that close. Easy. Uh. All right, and the chops. Did I bring my knife? I did bring my knife. I'm going to cucumber myself with meat, but that's okay. One of these days, I'm going to find, like, the, the recipe book or something. Mum's going to write it down on the notepad for me and tell me how to freaking boil an egg. Apparently, I can't do that right now. I'm actually going to have something to do with all of this meat that I'm cruising around right now. In fact, can I can I still eat animal fat for no... No, but still, it fucks you up with food poisoning now. Let's not do that. Let's throw that away. Let's throw that away, too. I'm completely full on a whole bunch of governments. I don't need the rest of the animal carcass. I'm being very wasteful were very disrespectful to the life that Wolfie had up until I discovered it in the hills and I'm letting most of its body go to waste. So I will bring its meat back and use it at some point when the game actually lets me. I don't know. Maybe I'll find a cookbook in the buried treasure. Who knows? Maybe someone's like writing down their greatest recipes. Maybe the recipe for chocolate chip cookies is the best in the world. Now like, you know what? The apocalypse is coming in. I need to save this for future generations and they buried it in the hills somewhere. You never quite know. In fact, I'm coming. I'm almost up on it actually. In fact, I'm right on top of it. So, uh, I've also been saying there's a lot of comments people asking me how I go about finding these treasures so quickly. So I'll give you a quick little rundown right here, right now. So where, like the Pac-Man mouth, yeah, where the hinge of the door meets the base of the chest, right on that hinge there, you want to put a quick waypoint. And you run straight towards it, although that's at the top of a sheer cliff, which is kind of annoying. You run straight towards it, and then when that red marker flips over, so when it goes from being directly in front of you on your compass to flipping around behind you, that means you're directly on top of that point. So now the, the box is starting to flash i want to go towards the point and i'm watching the flag and there we go it just flipped now it's behind me so that treasure should be basically directly underneath me it's somewhere down here relatively close by let's bang on my other shades i'm digging all this up so that i can get the most experience i can out of this shouldn't be too far down though it is on a hill which often makes it much more difficult that should be about as deep as I need to go. It should just be in here somewhere. It's be really awkward if I was trying to give you guys a lesson on how to find treasures and I can't actually find it. That'd be really embarrassing. Oh, I think I just found it though. Did I? Did I? No, I didn't. Shit, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, it was the next block I broke, but that's okay. So right down the same hole I was in, it's right there. Actually, before I open this, this is going to be interesting. So when you dig up a treasure chest, or is it just the um the buried supply quests from Trady Potato that spawn the zombies, or is it treasure maps as well? I'm kind of expecting when I open this thing up for a bunch of zombies that are already alerted to me to come out and try and rearrange my face. Now, I don't want them to do that. Let's put my shades back on for the looting process. Quickly reach down inside, grab the treasure chest. What have you got for me? Double pocket storage mod and some cash and some more nugs as well. Did that bring any Jefferies? I've got the pistol out ready to go. My, I've got an itchy trigger finger. Just give me an excuse. Nah, seems pretty safe. Okay, well, let's bang that pocket mod onto something. Who wants it? Um, 
I, could, I don't want to take away a pocket mod to put it on. You want it? Modify. Boom. There we go. Some extra spots. Oh, happy freaking days. I went from me cucumber to not cucumber to the space of one treasure chest. Happy days. We're right next to the next treasure quest again. Uh, treasure quest again, if I could say it properly. So we're going to do the same method this time. Hopefully, it won't be quite as embarrassing. So we're going to follow that all the way down here till it flips. Uh, yep, yeah, right about there. Okay, let's try this again. Please don't let me down this time. You embarrassed me last time. I very much like to actually look like I know what I'm doing for two seconds in this game. If you please. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, good. See, it does work. You just gotta kind of, you know, uh, expect the unexpected. Occasionally, the game's gonna throw a curveball at you and move it one block away, but then you just come back and you get it back all over again. I hear footsteps. Let's do this nice and quick. What have you got for me? Sledgehammer, leather boots, and ammo. All right, I'm happy with that. I picked up some ammo as well, so let's quickly go like this. Arlene, what? Where'd you go? Where'd you, where's your ponytail? You jumped right at the last second. You jumped into it, but I shot you in the gut rather than in the head. That's rather unfortunate. Oh, the knee coming nice and straight for me. No, that's a bad idea. Don't go the crossbow. Don't go the crossbow with someone charging across that even terrain. You'll never hit what you want to hit. There we go. Okay, clipped her ears and got her down. We're good. We're good. All right, we're good. Huh, okay. Let's, um, let's actually repair that and sell it. Repair that one and wear it. Tier 5 leather boots. That's a good find. Happy days for me. I'm saying happy days a lot. It's because it is a very happy day. Uh, grab this. Grab the mods out of you. Swap you back over for you. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we are kicking some goals now. Let's go see Trader Potato turn in these quests and get some more dollary dudes and hopefully buy some freaking bicycle handlebars or some forged steel or anything that's actually something that I want right about now. Please, for the Love of God, I'm desperate. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. It's been a long time since I was here, Trader Potato, so I hope you got something good for me. I mean, surely you've had enough time to restock and get something good. I'll take that. Another 350 dollars dues. I've already got a job for you, which I haven't done, because it's back in the winter biome, and that's a solid yeah nah from me. What have you got for me? You got a cripple and mod, which is kind of tempting. Uh, in fact, first things first, though. Do you have anything bicycle related? Nothing in there. What about in here? But not nothing in there either. Mate, you're really letting me down. I came here with $6,000 redos ready to spend in your shop. I almost sold my ammo because I'm so used to doing that. And you just got nothing for me. But you know what? I'm not going to... Oh, actually... Nah, no, I mean, I could buy some mods and put it into my Iron Spear, but that's probably, it's only going to be, like, slightly more valuable, I suppose. Probably not worth it. But there are some schematics here I could buy. Okay, here we go. Sell that. Let's sell you. Let's, oh, don't sell that one. I need that one. Uh, let's put you over there with the other stuff I need. Let's swap you out like that. Okay, don't sell anything on the top row, Josh. Sell all the rest of this crap and hopefully get something good and worth our time. Sell that one, that one, that one. Sell all the gold nugs, all the, th the, the silver nugs as well. Lots of those to be sold how are we looking now twelve thousand dollar reduce do you have a motorcycle you know you know let's just let's just get the bicycle let's go straight to motorcycle now nah, nothing all right fine then game i don't even care i will buy the cripple mod it's 20 percent chance to cripple a leg or a bipedal target so i'll put that into my club because if i miss if i shank the shot and hit him in the arm or the leg or something like that i'd much rather like blow it off i'm not gonna put it in a gun or anything because i probably won't help me too much by you what else have you got in here for me anything that's actually worth my time forge steel i need all of that three and a half thousand dollars in fact, you have a crucible. You know what? If I'm going to come all the way here and buy forged steel, maybe I can just like buy a crucible instead. You're not going to give it to me, are you? You're not going to have one. An oh, an iron crossbow. I've never been excited to see a crossbow here before. Night Stalker. By the way, we're some more damage at night. Sure, whatever. I'll buy you because why not? Crossbow's worth six and a half Gs. But I'm about to make myself a compound bow anyway. You know what? I'm going to give it a bit. So thank you for offering it to me. But in this one particular case, I was excited. But yeah, nah. He's got four lockpicks for sale as well. I'll buy those. That was almost a grand. And that's just about it. Uh, don't need the schematic for that. All right, shovel scrap brutes. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Okay, I think we're just about done here. So thank you for that. But also kind of... Thanks, no, thank you. You didn't really give me everything that I ever wanted. Just some things. Use that one. Use that one. Put the crippler mod into my club. Why... Okay, apparently I can't. Well, I guess it's going into the crossbow then, because it's the only place I got to put it. That's kind of upsetting. Kind of upsetting, but whatever. All right, cheers, regular sized ears. Let's get out of here and head back to Dodge. No, um, no bicycle parts. Yet again, you're really starting to piss me off, game. 
I didn't think it was that big of an ass to find one set of handlebars. I mean, what? Did no, were there no kids in this neighborhood? Did no one have a bicycle? Let's see to find one bike with semi not bent. I mean, I don't care if it's bent at right angles. As long as it's, I'll, I'll fucking like get my wrench and bang it onto the bolts and use that to steer if I really have to. I don't really care. You make do in a world like this. But apparently, I'm looking for some like pristine shit that has no, not even like any scratches on the chrome. I don't care, dude. Just some way to steer the front wheel is all I'm after. And you're making it real hard for me. That, that was easy though. The crossbow is making things easier. Rifle martyrs. I've, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that POI before. I mean, is that like a shotgun to side, but for rifles? I'm okay with going in there and having a look around. A little bit of sticky beak. See what's in there. Lighting, oh, another helmet light squad schematic. I'll take you. Scrap the sledges, scrap the nails. Don't need those. Well, I might hit that one first. I was just kind of thinking, trading potatoes sold me lock picks. And there's, if I, like on the way home, I can't, if I can take a little bit of detour back to the special tots over there, there's a locked chest on the that roof that's begging to be picked open and spilling all of its good loot out just for me. I don't know, maybe I'll blow it all on rifle martyrs. Maybe there's a chest in here that needs opening and I'm happy to be the boy to do it. Uh, there's some stairs at the back here. All right, um, let's get our super sneaky deaky on. What have we got in here? I've got the I've got the XP shades on. I'm a little bit hungry. Do I have any food on me? No, I don't. Let's drink some water to make sure I'm well hydrated going into this. Good shout out on some potato seeds if I really wanted to. All right, let's get it done. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever actually been through one of these places before. This is exciting. So far, so reasonable. Oh, there's a... I couldn't quite see the ladder because it's hidden by the tree. That door is locked. Is there someone hiding in this chest in here? No, there's not. All right, I guess the ladder's the only way up then. Let's uh make some noise in case someone's hiding. Grab my frame back. I'm going to use those up the top. I just don't like climbing the ladders, oh, especially... You know what? I'm going to go cut down that tree. I can't see anything inside this bloody tree. You are making it real hard for me to see any enemies that might be out here. So I'm going to cut you down. You are actually a hindrance to my survival. Normally, you know, it's live and let live with trees, but you're going to get me killed. You're going to ruin everything I've worked so hard to do just because you spread your leafy greeny goodness out all all over the place and through some walls apparently so you can die and uh you know what you can live on you can live on through your children i'll plant this tree's son right where its father or mother or whatever you know parent it was once stood let's go back up the top all right now it should be able to see a little bit better and hopefully see the zombies coming for me oh yep i woke someone up i heard them growl let's go out here oh that's a cowboy too you gotta take a no i thought you were gonna jump Wow, that was like some Matrix shit. I shot over each of his shoulders, pierced both his ears, and he still came for me. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I love that so much. I love the silence pistol. It just feels so good to shoot Muppets like that. But when they kind of clip through the building like that and stick their noggins out, it's just so satisfying to go, oh, and it's like a little like piece of little sound. It's like... And then they're dead. And that's all it is. I love that so much. I'm going to try and get down here nice and stealthily like. I'm not sure how successful this is going to be. Drop that onto the frames, not onto the actual ground. Uh, I can definitely hear a Muppet being here, like maybe in there. Yep, there it is. Okay, well, you can't get to me. But also, you're kind of hiding your head, which is kind of annoying. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, go down a little bit. Down to there. Just some way for me to see your noggin. I'm just going to take a couple of shots. There we go. Okay, I got it. I had to shoot him a couple of times until he flinched enough that I could see his head. I guess he was the only one down there. Let's search the rest of the building. Anyone else? For a rifle martyrs, not a whole lot of uh, gun store stuff. I was expecting more. Oh, there's a secret down there, though. Can I, like, peek through? Yes, I can. Just, like, flick that nipple. Where is it? Come on. Yep, there you are. All oh, right. You're going to get right pixel perfect. There we go. Could have just broken down the thing, I know. But, hey, I like feeling like I'm cheating the game sometimes when it's, you know, I probably don't have to. Oh, oh, Jesus. Good day, mate. Oh, I missed the last shot. Go power stroke. Shit, I missed that too. All right, fuck it. Go, go the pistol then. At least knock him down and try and get ourselves a little bit of breathing room. God, they move so fast and so quick. It's really annoying. There's no point waiting for anyone else. Anyone else around here at all? So, oh, yep. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was bad. That was real bad by me. Can't get a couple of headshots. There we go. Oh, see what I mean by the silence pistol being the greatest thing? How are you still alive? Can you fuck off, please? I thought I already killed you. That was, uh, that was not great. I didn't enjoy those two seconds. I probably should have seen the false floor coming, but I did not, but we somehow got away with it. There we go. It led me to the loot room. What have we got? We've got a shotgun, a side crate, some ammo, it's a locked safe, and a weapons bag. Okay, well, I got four lockpicks. So let's just everyone cross all of our appendages and hope for the best here. If this doesn't go well, I'm just gonna have to mark it on the map and come back for another day. Just like everything else, if I can't get into it, this one especially, I'm not gonna sit here all night and beat my way through a locked uh, locked gun safe. That's like 20,000 health, and I'm just not gonna do that because it's gonna take me more all of tonight and all of tomorrow probably to do it at the same time. 
time. But if I keep on talking and keep not paying attention to it, it'll unlock just like that. So that's the thing. If I start getting my hopes up, I pay attention and be like, ooh, it's almost unlocked. Then the game's like, uh, 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 and it doesn't actually unlock for me. But if I pay attention to other things, just keep yapping about other shit, then lo and behold, it opens sesame right in front of me. What's in the gun store box? A lot, ooh. Steel knuckle parts. I still get excited seeing those. Seven of them too. A bipod mod as well, which I can't put on anything, which is kind of a shame. But lots of parts and bow parts as well. Some pipe bombs, which is kind of fun. Uh, some more seven mil. Uh, not seven mil. Some nine mil ammo. All right, happy days. Let's uh, just kind of bust our way out of here and get out and go back home. We've got another another chest on the way home to get as well. Still got all four lock picks. What a good effort. I'm happy with that. Oh, oh, uh oh, that's real bad news. That is a wandering horde coming straight for me. Okay, I need to just, I need to move. Zigzag a little bit, try and get him to kind of weave and dodge just a little bit more, get to some open ground. Okay, headlight on. Oh, shit. Okay, this is, that is really, really bad news for me. I think I'm away from the rest of the horde though. Oh my god, okay, that made me clench something fierce. There are black holes out there that are less dense than my butthole is right now. That uh, that was not a good time to be me, but we got away with it. Managed to run away and avoid most of the badness that was coming my way in a hot second. Oh boy, okay, where are we now? What have we got? I can scrap that one. I've got a whole bunch of shit I just kind of don't need right now. Um, God, okay, I need to, I need to get rid of something. Uh, Vegemite Sanger, I was saving you for later, but I'm going to get rid of you for now. I've got plenty more back home. I just need to be less cucumbered than I already was. God, I'm running out of time, too. I've got one hour left. I've got to go in, grab that. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll leave that log chest until tomorrow. I guess I could do that. It will be the worst thing in the world. Just getting home and being safe. I've already had a pretty hectic day. Yeah, it's a long way to go to home. If I had the bicycle, I'd do it. But no, nah, I'm not taking the risk. Not after today, where I've already risked so much. God, it's good to be home again. After running around the wilderness for so long, it's good just to come back and just be able to like relax just that little bit. While I'm down here, I feel like I'm reasonably safe. Let's put you in there. You guys can go. In fact, let's put the pot bombs in there too. What else is going to go in my tools box? I'll keep my lock picks. I'll put my potato seeds with the rest of the food and the rest of the seeds over there. It is all kicking off. You know, let's get some vitamins. Let's, let's, let's finish. It's been a real, rather successful day. Rather successful couple episodes, actually. So let's celebrate by eating some vitamins and chowing down on a delicious Vegemite Sanger, uh, which is the most delicious form of food you can possibly get. I know that, like, you know, the like the meme on the internet is that Vegemite is disgusting, but that's just because you Americans have no concept of portion control. You eat everything with a teaspoon. It's called a spread, not a spoonful. So you get a little dollop on the end of your knife and you smear it delicately over some delicious, thick, juicy, salty butter on some freshly grilled toast. Oh, just thinking about it makes me... I mean, freshly toasted toast sounds weird, so freshly grilled toast, that's basically a grill just turned on its side. You know what I mean. But man, Vegemite Sangers or Vegemite anything is just fucking delicious and I love it and I won't hear any uh, comments to the contrary. Um, where can the rest of this go? Everything in there is fine. That T6 battery makes me happy. Look at that, two wheels, bicycle chassis. I've got everything there ready to go. Just I don't have freaking handlebars. I reckon during the night tonight, I'm gonna bang on my nerdy glasses and get myself my tier three wrench and just spend the night breaking down this reinforced chest here. Cause I think they actually give you, uh, in fact, I can do it with the pickaxe. Kind of need to do it with the wrench. Grab you on back. But I'm pretty sure they give you forged steel when you break it. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to spend here. I've got nothing but time anyway. I may as well break it all down and see what happens on the other side of it. But if this gives me some steel, I'm going to be pretty bloody happy. Here we go. We're so close. Are you going to be worth the while? Or is this going to be a waste of time? That was all a complete waste of time. I heard... So I punched the concrete underneath as well. I thought I was going to get some steel out of that. Turns out not. I'm sure lots of people were yelling at their screens about that. But whatever. I had to try. I thought at one point... Oh, no. It's the um, it's the ammunition boxes that give you that kind of stuff, isn't it? Not the, re not the uh, hardened chests. All right. Not the worst thing in the world, though. At least now we know. I can put these ones back. But uh, that's another pretty successful day, I think. We're doing pretty okay. Well, we're coming into day day 10 now, so the next horde isn't too far away. I should probably make some updates to my horde base. Like, it served me pretty well, but the horde's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and scarier and scarier and scarier because one of the reasons that I wanted to up the difficulty, not only so that um, body damage was worth less, but because it multiplies your game stage a little bit more. So what am I right now? I'm game stage 37. Could be a little bit higher, actually. Maybe if I survive the next horde, uh, like, you know, every 14 days of hordes or whatever, I'll up the difficulty. I'm not sure. So I'll go from Warrior to Adventure, whatever the next one is, or Survivalist, or whatever the 
next level up is just to kind of you know progress the game because yes it is very dangerous out there i'm still getting my shit pushed in quite regularly but i still want to have like kind of that edge i'm starting to get confident so i want to make it harder and scarier for myself if i survive the next one which is a pretty big if i'll be honest but i'll have to do that and try and upgrade my base and try to go and get that stupid hardened chest at some point in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching but most of all thank you to all the patrons on patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one